Now we're going to do a density of states calculation for a single particle in a three-dimensional box. This is an extension of the previous example for the one-dimensional box. Now we have dimensions of the box Lx, Ly and Lz. So we have Lx, Ly, Lz, the lengths of the um, sides of the box. Now, if you have Lx, Ly, and Lz equal to L, this is going to be a cubic box, obviously. Now, we know the energy levels for this single particle in a three-dimensional box. We solved Schrodinger's equation. We found that the energy levels are given by h bar square pi square divided by 2m nx square over lx square ny square over ly square plus nz square over lz square now if this is a cube then these energy levels will become um, h bar square pi square divided by 2m l squared and x squared plus n y squared plus n z squared. So I have to specify three quantum numbers n x n y and n z. So the number of degrees of freedom is three. So f is equal to three, and I have to find out. Uh, for a contribution to energy of epsilon from each quantum number, what is the number of values uh, the quantum number uh, can take? So you can uh, solve this issue by considering the number space. In the number space, we're going to have corresponding to uh, the combinations of these quantum numbers an x squared plus ny square plus nz square uh, l over pi h bar squared 2m e so basically i'm uh, considering this equation and from this equation i obtain this relationship between quantum numbers and energy so in the number space this is going to be the radius square r square so we're talking about a sphere here so r is sphere radius radius of the sphere and it's going to be equal to l divided by pi h bar square root 2 m e so i need to find out for combinations of nx and y and nz values when i get an energy in the range e to e plus delta e so this axis is nx this is ny this is nz and remember these are discrete so i'm going to put discrete values for nx ny nz here in this space uh, like so and uh, then i draw a uh, semicircular region here so this is uh, corresponding to a sphere with a radius r and this r is basically given by l over pi h bar square root 2 me so this is uh, the energy uh, basically it's describing the energy e uh, this is going to correspond to and if you change the energy e a little bit uh, you will see that you will have another uh, sphere with radius r prime that will give you energy of e plus delta e then i would like to know the number of states whose energies are less than e so that means i'd like to know the number of nx and y and nz values and their combinations that will give me a total energy less than e 
Now I note that an x and y and an z have to be positive, so they're basically starting from 1 uh, going up to infinity. So this corresponds to 1 octant of the sphere. So basically I can only consider uh, these values and for uh, positive values of n z uh, n x and n y it's going to be a one octant of the sphere now what is the number of states that I can have uh, for this it will be equal to um, 1 over 8 times the volume of this uh, sphere. So I can put here uh, just um, let me see. So this was the case in the one dimensional box. So let's recall that we had density of states is equal to or proportional to e to the minus one half here. This is going to be uh, 1 over 8 times the volume 4 thirds pi r cubed that's the volume of the sphere so the number of states I have whose energies are less than e is 4 divided 4 and 8 that makes this 2 1 over 6 uh, times pi times r cubed where what is r cubed l over pi h bar uh, cube 2 m e to the power 3 over uh, 2 and this v l cube is the volume of the cube volume of the cube in which the particle is trapped so I can see that the number of states with energies less than e will be equal to then v divided by 6 pi squared h bar cube 2m to the power 3 over 2 energy to the power 3 over 2 so the density of states the number of states per unit energy interval d phi de will be uh, v over 6 pi square h bar cube 2m to the power 3 halves 3 over 2 e to the power 1 half so this 3 will give me a 2 here 2 2 will give me a 4 so that for the density of states I will find a v over 4 pi squared h bar cube 2m to the power 3 over 2 energy to the power one half and the corresponding number of accessible states with energies in the range e to e plus delta e will be uh, v divided by 4 pi square h bar cube 2m to the power 3 over 2 e to one half delta e so basically i have found the number of accessible states when the energy is in this range um, e to e plus delta e okay so one thing to note here is that the previous result as i re uh, as i recall was e to the power minus one half for one dimensional box for three dimensional box i found the density of states is proportional to e to the one half so as a remark here i can note what happens if this is going to be uh, two-dimensional the density of states is proportional to e to the minus one half for 1d case e to zero for 2d case and e to the power one half for 3d case for the single particle in uh, boxes with different dimensions 1d 2d or 3d so let's recap what we did 
we have a single particle in a three-dimensional box. I've considered a cube here. The energy levels are given by h bar square pi square over 2 ml square nx square plus ny square plus nz square. And recall that these were uh, standing wave solutions and the nx, ny, nz quantum numbers start from 1 because if they're 0 that means the particle doesn't exist. The number of degrees of freedom is 3. And uh, I would like to know the number of states whose energies are less than E. So how many NX and NY and NZ values or combinations will give me an energy less than E? So first I note that NX square plus NY square plus NZ square looks like a radius square of a sphere. The radius is L over pi H bar square 2 ME in the number space. And um, because I can only have positive values for nx, ny, and z, this corresponds to one octant of this sphere. So I calculate the volume of the sphere, 1 over 8, 4 thirds pi r cube, and I find that the number of states whose energies are less than e is proportional to e to 3 half, so that the density of states, number of states per energy interval, uh, delta E is proportional to E to one half. So I have solved for the density of states and number of accessible states for energies in the range E to E plus delta E, which is given by density of states multiplied by delta E. And since my result suggests that I have E to the one half dependence here for this uh, three dimensional case, I see a trend here. So for one dimensional case in the previous uh, video, we found e to the minus one half dependence. For two dimensions, this should be e to zero. For three dimensions, it is e to the one half.